Imagine buying a beautiful home in what you thought would be a beautiful neighborhood, but this is what you got. Very frustrating. Very frustrating because we want to enjoy our beautiful homes and be able to have visitors. Tanya Ruiz Barreto is one of hundreds who live in Inverness Village 4, a Citrus County neighborhood that was somehow built with no drainage system, which means years of erosion have turned roads that were never paved into deeply scarred canyons. I literally had to go buy a 4 by 4 Jeep so I can get in and out when it's raining when it's you know overflowing even a jeep was risky the other day as heavy rain from debbie turned the neighborhood streets into rivers yeah, bro, but this is the worst right here like rapid waters just rushing through river rapids that carved this grand canyon luckily neighbors are looking out for each other putting up cones to make sure no one drives in it neighbors like tanya who bought here thinking the roads would be paved and assuming a drainage system was in place feel misled, and they're losing hope as finger-pointing between Citrus County government, a home builder, and the person who sold many of the lots here creates a stifling stalemate. Something's going to happen on our behalf. God's going to work it out for us. But some days it gets very frustrating. County Commissioner Holly Davis is still looking to the state for help. She believes home buyers here were defrauded, and months ago she asked the state to investigate. In a statement, she tells us, quote, I met with the Attorney General's office in January of this year and left them the case file, which was then sent to FDLE for investigation. I was told at that time the investigation would take months, not years, so I'm hopeful that we'll hear something before 2024 is out. Something's got to be done about this. This is just crazy. In Citrus County, Chad Mills, ABC Action News.